What are we talking about? We're talking about the new vehicle in our fleet. It's 2024. It is. Um, yeah, we're a little rusty. <laughs> yes, very much so. I guess we are here to talk about well, we changed up for 2024, mm -hmm. so. Because you know, every year we gotta change something up. <laughs> so we did not get a new trailer. We're gonna yeah. tell you that right now. We did not get a new trailer. We like this one a we lot. We got Little Square, the red one, yet. And uh, we're still gonna continue to do the renting, so if you're interested, um, drop us a comment and uh, get a hold of us. We're listed on Outdoorsy and RV Share yep. for the rental. Outdoorsy, we have a discount code, so that's probably the preferred way to go. Um, and you can find that at our website. Okay. So we've got that going on. We just got both trailers out of storage today. Because we're going camping in about two and a half weeks. Yeah, where's our first trip? We're going to the Moore Expo. That's right, mm -hmm. Moore Expo. So if you're at the Moore Expo, look for us. Yep. Uh, definitely love to meet you. Mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna be with the hiker group. There's a whole bunch of us that are gonna be down there. We got several trips planned this year. What, we got Virginia, we got West Virginia, we have the Moore Expo. Going around Lake um, Superior, Going around finally. Lake Superior, finally. COVID shut us down mm -hmm. from going around doing our Superior trip. So we're gonna do that this year. Yeah. That'll be an awesome adventure. Like you almost hit my Kinda face like as you did that. Yeah. <laughs> like that. And then on top of that, we've got- uh, Our camp out. Our camp out, HTC E6. We're so excited to see you guys. It's gonna be awesome. We'll have information down below if you want more information on that. How That's many trailers, how many trailers? How many trailers are we up to this year? I think we're around 120 100. that we're aware of. One, um, I don't know if we know of all of them. So if you haven't reached out to us with your lot number, reach out to us at mwdadventures at gmail.com. Let me know so I can keep you in the loop of what's going to be happening. Uh, we're probably rambling. Okay, hold on. Weren't we going to tell them about the new addition to our fleet this year? We Toyota 4Runner, mm -hmm. it is the TRD Off-Road Premium Edition. Mm -hmm. uh, it is a 2021. Yep. It's white in color. Um, yeah, we absolutely love it so far. We've been mm -hmm. driving around for about a month with it, and we wanted to try something new and something different, and then to explore how that works with the small trailer life is having a smaller tow vehicle. Uh, it's just the two of us. We mm -hmm. don't have the kids we're hauling around. So we jumped into a Toyota. Because you know, Toyotas are known for overlanding. Oh, they are the overlanding <laughs> truck. Uh, I like to say we're big campers. But uh, yeah, Toyota's known for reliability. Yes, definitely. They, they definitely are. Um, so with the reliability, we looked at all kinds of different vehicles, going to a Tundra, full-size mm -hmm. truck, first chase down that for a while. Do we jump into that? But then, we have a lot of vehicles in this driveway. <laughs> we acquired a work truck mm -hmm. with my promotion. So with that, we have to accommodate another vehicle. Going to a smaller vehicle just made sense. Mm -hmm. And with that, we wanted to experiment with towing with a smaller vehicle, the hiker trailer. How does it tow? What's your gas mileage? Kind of that will be our 2024 kind of venture. And so, it's going to force us to maybe pare down on some of the extras we take along that we end up not really using anyways. Yeah. So we're like, oh, just throw that in. We've got space. Oh, just throw that in too. And then we get back from camping and we realize we never even touched it. We brought so why did we even take it along? Brought everything in the kitchen sink, right? right. So. And that's part of a small trailer living mm -hmm. is that it's supposed to be less stuff. Less stuff, simpler, get out and do more. Right. So that's what we're hoping to do pair down this yep. year be able to do that a little bit better too. It's very easy, especially me being a gear guy, <laughs> mm -hmm. to get bogged down on having more gear, different gear, trying different things. And I tend to just accumulate and not push out the old. So, and then we wanna hear from you guys. If you're a Toyota fan, yeah. whatever you have, uh, we would love to hear from you. Drop down your ideas, comments, things you'd like to see. Have us talk what about. What have you done in yours that has worked out really well for you or something that you've tried and it didn't turn out the way you expected it to? We love that kind of advice also. How many hours do you think I've spent on YouTube looking at 4 videos? 
So a few of the things that we're kind of toying around with, and if you guys have a forerunner and you tow a hiker, that's even mm -hmm. a bigger bonus, please reach out to us. Um, where do you put your fridge and how do you manage the fridge? Uh, we're looking at options for that. We have bought a few kind of accessories already and mm -hmm. we'll share those with you down the road. We're curious about roof racks. Yeah. That's another thing. We're curious about roof racks. Do you have a roof rack? Do you not have a roof rack? What do you use the roof rack for? Exactly. Do you do a cage? Do you do a box on top? Do you do just a straight rack and then you add like Rome boxes or something along that? Those are extremely high end. Or Alucat or Alucat boxes. I don't know the, the aluminum boxes. There's just a lot of different options out there, and it's Many. it's overwhelming. Too and then Many. lights. I mean, we haven't even gotten to lights yet, <laughs> but we're looking at how to best configure the back. Do you do a drawer system? Is a drawer system needed? Uh, do you do a fridge with a slide out tray? It seems like everybody goes high end. You have to have a drawer system. You have to have this fridge slide. You have to have this. We're, We're trying, trying to, to keep it very simple because by putting that stuff in as a daily driver when you're home and you want to use it to run around town and you need to load something up, now you've got this thing completely outfitted for camping and you can't utilize the space like you would want to, right? Right, and we need to have it so that we can haul passengers when we're around town. Yeah, look forward to seeing you guys in future videos. We're super excited. Camping season's begun. Yay, I'm so excited yep. for that. And spring has kind of sprung up here in Michigan. All right, like we always say, make sure you guys get out and, and do, do some, some camping. camping.